morning, back out again. This time we're up at Scott's Gap. It's part of the car. We're going to have a wander around. Um, visit a place called Rotherley and walk along the old Wanny line. The old, uh, what was the train line that went from Scott's Gap up to Rothby. So we're going to have a little explore. Uh, yeah, just get some more miles in with the Bergen on me back. Ready for this big uh, adventure in the September. Keep watching. It's on its way. But yeah, lovely sunny morning. So he's ready to go, as you can probably hear. He's crying with excitement. And uh, yeah, get some video along the way. Right. Let's. Here we are, Rotherley Castle. Someone's uh, pulled the iron gate off. Have a lot of luck.
tiny hills. Right, water's boiling. That's what I'm following today. Big dinner when I get home. So, just a little something to put a few calories in us. Give that a few minutes to boil up. Not a bad place to have lunch, is it? Yeah, and we'll get a shot of the castle. Simon's side, we all run the distance there. It's quite unique. It's got them like flat tops to it. There's Harwood Forest, where I wild camp recently on the horizon. And there, it's Rotherley Castle. I think it's Rotherley. I'm sure it is. If it's not, I'll uh, put a comment on. So, yeah, this is my space for lunch. And then we'll crack on. Oh, it's getting warm now. The sun came out and it uh, really warmed the air up. It's like a coarse heat. Anyhow, so here I am on a bridge on the old, what's called the Wanny Line. And it would go from Scotts Gap up to Rothbury. So, there you can see, you can almost imagine the train track going down and then underneath that bridge down past that forest where Scott's Gap is and it would come up here with a big head of steam and it would continue around up towards Rothbury I'll see if I can find a bit of information about it. Obviously, I don't know how how long ago the line was in. It was probably about, like everything else, it was probably Beecham who closed it. But uh, it must have been good standing here watching a steam locomotive come puffing up here and all this steam and smoke. Oh, never see that again. But anyhow, there's Harwood Forest up right over there. Whoever were they've had night. So we're gonna go up here to that farm, hang a left and then go around and and then meet back up with the train line I think. Head right back to Scott's corner gap. Scott's corner, Scott's gap. Whew, right. Yeah me. This heat's got me knackered. So, see where we came round, following from the castle, we came right along that ridge line of the trees, over them fields, then far woods, then swung a left down through the fields, through these, past them woods, and across this meadowland. Whoa, what we're doing? Six mile. So, he found a river and had a good swim anyway, so he's happy. Oh, right. So we're just meeting back up with the road now. Do a little bit of road work, road walking. And then meet up with the old tree line. And it should just be nice and flat all the way back to Scott's Gap. Hopefully. I hope so. Right. But hey ho. Got to be good for you, innit? Right. Ooh, right. We eventually got to the Wanny line. It took some doing. Oh, 
Oh, this is so hot. Hot, hot, hot. So, I think basically we'll just follow this there. This thing back now. About two kilometres. About the car. Oh, I've done it now, like. Whew, it's going to be a long two kilometres. Well, it's going to be two kilometres, but you know what I mean. It's going to feel like a long two kilometres. Right, anyway, you don't come here to hear me moan. So we'll crack on, get back to the car. Right, guys, that's me back to the car, back to Scott's Gap. Oh, that was a tough one. It was only 9.23 miles, but uh, I already done about four or five this morning walking back from Harwood Forest to the car before me camping gear. Um, plus that's been red hot as well. Uh, that was a hard one. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm going to go home and have a bath and a beer or two. And uh, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. It means a lot to us. I think I'm up to about 85 now. And uh, yeah, that magical 100, it's not far away. And uh, you never know, there might be a little giveaway. If we can get to 100. So, anyway, take care, and I hope you enjoy the video.